So, keep on moving. Yes, we still are in Act 1, and while the acts are longer, it's mainly just because we just keep having to go in special zones, that's why it's taking so long. Now, over here is Caterkiller Jr., and as you see, he's nothing like Caterkiller from Sonic 1, he's like a floating worm thing. Whatever. Anyways, here's the lightning shield, the definitely and universally agreed to be the best shield in the whole game. Not only does it attract rings like this, which is so incredibly useful, look at that, but also is an extremely useful double jump, and yeah, each, each one of those four, like, electric balls that come off of it, they, they hurt enemies. Now, something all shields can do that I didn't get to mention is they reflect projectiles, like, look at this. It's pretty useful. It makes that guy completely worthless. And I could have gotten that flame shield if I wanted to, but obviously I don't, because, you know, lightning shield's much better. Now, here's something new in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. A mini boss, and let me tell you something about pretty much every single mini boss except one that I can think of. They all suck and are horrible. They take six hits instead of eight, like Robotnik, and they're just terrible. They are never hard at all, but whatever. Something new about this is um, instead of having to pass one of these checkpoints, it kind of just falls from the sky, and you can, if you jump up and you can keep it in the air. It's actually surprisingly addictive, and if you, you get points for doing it, and if you do it right, you can make, like, power-ups spawn, I'm not sure how. Anyways, that's the end of Act 1, and as you'll see in a moment, there is actually no loading screens between acts, it just continue right along, which is pretty cool, and if you also notice, the music is slightly rem remixed, which is, you know, pretty cool, in my opinion. Anyways, another special zone. Here we are, the last special zone of the video, thankfully. It's not that I don't like these special zones, just that I don't like that they're taking up like the majority of the video. I wanted to talk about the Angel Island zone itself, not the special stages in it. And what do I think about the Angel Island zone? I think it's a pretty good starting level. I like it. It has good music. It's pretty cool. Um, a lot of times I wonder what do I like more, the Act 1 music, the Act 2 music in certain levels. Or Angel Island zone, I like Act 2 music more. Letting you know. Now, I don't know, a lot of times when I play Sonic 3 Knuckles, I'll completely avoid special zones just because, some, again, like, I don't like them, it's just that they take kind of a long time. I'm not sure. Now, the only real thing I can point out related to this special stage video is that I do fuck up getting the perfect and I'll point out when I do. But until then, now that there's many bosses, I have to do twice as much video editing to do that stupid zoom in effect. Isn't that great? Well, coming up shortly, I'll be pointing out where, if you want to get a perfect, I'll do mine as well explain it now. See how there's like these two blue spheres between certain parts? Now, if you want to get the perfect, what you need to do is jump over them, and you'll see why you don't get the perfect if you don't. It's one of the... One of these, these ones, like jump now. See, because if you don't, what's gonna happen? Is you're gonna circle them, they're gonna turn into rings, but you can't get them. It's too late, because you already got all the blue spheres. But oh well, it's not really a big deal. This game is really generous with extra lives and rings and continues anyways, so whatever. Now, three cast almost might seem like good progress to the end of the first zone, but uh just like Emerald Hill Zone. It isn't. Now here's a cool effect. If you jump in the water with your lightning shield, it goes away and all the rings that are coming after you stop and they start bouncing away. I tried to go after that one, that fucking Caterkiller Jr. Got me. What a bitch. Now obviously the same thing happens if you go into water with a fire shield, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I want to talk about this, like I was saying in the special zone. Uh, I want to talk about the level itself. It's a good level, I mean, it's... It, while it's, you know, the green, just like the tradition of Green Hole Zone, Emerald Hill Zone, it's not that green, I mean, it's kind of, after it gets set on fire, it's, I don't know, it's like a brownish green, I guess you could say. I think it's a good level, overall. I don't know, I like it more than a couple levels I can think of in this game. But, um, uh, like, it's got parts like this, you know, where you gotta drain the water to get rid of the wall for whatever reason, so you can travel forward. And one thing that's kind of different about this, besides the fact that I'm always gonna hit, like, a fucking retard, is it's got a lot of vertical movement, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, these are kind of cool, like if you go on it while it's flipping, you fall down, but uh... Like up here, if you continue on, you gotta go up, and then you gotta go left, and then you gotta go right. It's pretty cool. I don't know. It's a nice little 
break up the monotony of just holding right, as a lot of people seem to think. Now, I don't know, it's got, you can get some good speed going on too, I mean, it's not like there's no speed in this game, even though I've been kind of going pretty slowly recently. Now, as a kid, there's a part coming up here, where you have to like, there's these rocks that go into the waterfall and you have to jump on them in time. I really hated this, I don't know why, I, just timing platform jumps, it's just not that great. Now here's a secret that a lot of people know, just has been after this wall. 20 rings, bubble shield, it's pretty useful. Now let's keep on moving here. <laughs> that bouncing attack really is pretty shitty, but it's, it's fun to use it like that. Uh, now I'm not sure what the fuck I did here, but I managed to get hit and lose my shield. And after I lose my shield, I get my new shield, so whatever. Anyway, it's time to go on to the next bonus stage. So the second kind of bonus stage is, as you can see clearly, it is just like slot machines from Casino Night Zone, but it's also like special stages from Sonic 1, you see, it has the whole like, constantly spinning, you gotta jump around, and jump around, jumping around, and you gotta get back in the slot machine, to get your rings, it's pretty cool. As you can see, the edges are blue squares, touch them, turn yellow, touch them again, turn red, touch them yet a third time and they turn into those goal circles, like from Sonic 1, that kick you out. So you can't spend forever in here, and I end up spend a long, I spend a long time in here, and I think I'll just cut all these out from future videos, or maybe I'll speed them up, or maybe, I don't know, it's up to you again, I'm making you do all the hard decisions for me. So, you gotta watch, well, if you vote that you wanna watch the whole thing, prepare to watch me fumbling around like an idiot like I've been doing this whole time. I can't get back in there. Why? Can I not get back in there? Well, I finally can. Eventually, I actually do decide that I spent too long in here and I intentionally just stay on the edge too long and get kicked out. Like, I was like, okay, that's, that's enough, that's enough. So, we're almost at the end of level, thankfully. There's, coming up here, you'll see there's pretty fucking pointless ass section that wastes about a minute of everyone's time. I don't know, I don't hate it or anything, it's just... You can literally just hold right and close your eyes and just take a nap for a minute because as long as you're holding right, nothing bad can happen to you here. Basically, this ship comes and tries to bomb you, but if you're just holding right, it's, nothing bad's gonna happen. Except Tails keeps getting hit by bombs because he's retarded, but I don't know, it's kind of funny, I guess. I mean, I guess it's kind of interesting, but from a gameplay point of view, kind of boring. Anyways, we are almost at the boss. We're almost there. Who's that in the background? Who could it be? Gonna be it's Robotnik. There he is. We're gonna see him in about 10 seconds, three seconds. There he is. And I'll do the zoom and thing once he's not being obscured by my ring counter. So just, just chill out. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. Oh, so as you can. See, this guy sucks. He can't even hurt me because his attacks don't hit me because I'm wearing a fire shield. And the only thing that's kind of funny is that Tails keeps dying because he's retarded. And this is just easy ass boss. He goes behind the waterfall so you can't hit him. If you haven't noticed, the boss music is remixed. It's very cool. It's what that guitar remix that you always hear is based off of. It's based off the Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Bad boss, bad Nick boss music. Whatever. Tails dies again. It's funny. We're almost at the end of the video. Hope you had a good time. As you can see, the capsule comes from the sky now. It's full of birds. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here I come, rougher than the rest of them. The best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. Song is awesome. Anyways, we'll see you next video.